What is up guys? This is Zach from Anglers Escape and today I want to make a video on what to do if a fish swallows the hook. So the last few hours I've looked at all these academic articles to see what the best outcomes are and I'll tell you right off the bat most of the articles favored just cutting the line and releasing the fish with the hook still in his mouth than trying to get that deep swallowed hook out. The first article I want to talk about comes from the Journal of Fisheries Management. It was published in 2010 and basically the researchers took multiple largemouth bass they purposely put a hook pretty deep in the throat or in the stomach and then they re either try to remove the hook or just cut the line and release the bass either way. And they put the bass in a holding pond and then they studied 11 months later they recollected those bass through netting and electrofishing and found the mortality rates were the exact same whether they cut the line or they ripped out the hook. Now I want to go into some studies that actually supported just cutting the line and showing that they had better mortality outcomes if you just cut the line. So another study that dealt with what to do with the fish swallowed the hook was a Canadian study in 2009 and they took a bunch of bluegill that had swallowed the hook. Some of those bluegill they took out the hook and some of them they just cut the line and released the bluegill and then they captured, recaptured these bluegill in either 48 hours or in 10 days and of the bluegill that they removed the hook they found that 33% died in 48 hours and then within 10 days closer to 50% died. However, on the bluegill that they just cut the line and released, there was only around 8% that died in the first 48 hours and only around 12.5% that died after 10 days. And they ultimately concluded it was best if you just cut the line when those bluegills swallow the hook. All right, another study that supports the idea that you should just cut the line when a fish swallows the hook was a 1996 study on rainbow trout. They took a bunch of rainbow trout that had swallowed the hook I think there was 88 in total and then they released the rainbow trout after either A removing the hook or B just cutting the line and releasing them and they found there was a 36% decrease in mortality after two months if you just cut the line and release the trout and in fact over half the trout the hook worked its way out of its system just after those two months. Another interesting study guys is what happens to hooks in a fish's stomachs. A lot of people are like oh after a few months or a few days they'll rust out and they'll work their way through the system. Well there was actually a study done on sturgeon where they re-replicated the stomach environments of a sturgeon and then they put different types of hooks within this acidic environment and they found with after a year these hooks had zero percent or zero tensile strength meaning that any force at all just crumbled the hook up. So really after about a year of the fish's stomach environment it did rust away most of these hooks. Now these were Gamagachu I believe 5 aughts circle hooks. Now this might be a little different for stainless steel but it does show that the hooks do dissolve in their stomach after a prolonged period of time. Alright guys and the fifth and last study I want to talk about is what to do when a bass or a pike swallows a big old crankbait. So at Carleton University they basically put these crankbaits deep within a pike's throat and they had little transmitters on the crankbait then they released the pike into a holding pond and they found on average after two to three days these pikes were able to spit out those deep seated crankbaits and they were able to collect them through the transmitting. So they ultimately concluded that it's best just to cut the line when a bass or a pike, at least pike in this case, swallows that crankbait because more than likely it'll spit it back out before causing any serious problems. So guys, I hope you learned something from these studies. Ultimately, the conclusion is here is if it really swallows the hook bad, go ahead and cut that line, release the fish. Don't try to rip it out of its mouth. A lot of the studies have shown trying to take it out increases bleeding and if a fish is starting to bleed significantly, its mortality rate a lot of times approach, approaches 90 to 100 percent. So it's a lot better just to cut the hook, release it. Now there's a couple things you can do to kind of help with avoiding gut hooking, hooking a fish. So one of those mechanisms is using circle hooks over J hooks. Another mechanism is making sure you're ready to set the hook. The longer it takes you to set the hook on a bait or a lure, the more likely that the more time the fish has to swallow the hook instead of just getting hooked in the side of the mouth. And then using lures instead of real baits also reduces the chance of the fish swallowing the hook. And finally guys, if you do use barbless hooks, that also decreases mortality of fishing when you're catching and releasing. So I hope you guys learned something from this video. And as always, good luck fishing.